Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the WRT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. This is new viewers. Hope you become new subscribers, old subscribers. Thank you for your time and support. And your new viewers, thank you for your time and support. Now, I am hitting in mysterious, but if you want to see my face, you know, I have no problem with that. You know, some some people like to say, hey, how many people this dude ain't showing his face? I am your host, Mr. A. Now, for new viewers, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A, I give you full episodes on topics. I give you a breakdown and prediction segments. I give you post-fight recap segments, and I give you Mr. A's thought segments, which is this, where I take a, a topic and I give you my personal opinion on it. And today's Mr. A's number 12th thought edition segment, why are people and a lot of YouTube channels, because this is a show right here, they're giving Triple G fucking hell and no one is saying shit on Danny Jacobs now Triple G is catching so much bullshit for um, Manorosian and no one's saying shit on Danny Jacobs about Shalecki now before we get started there is no bias here if you tuned in you're like oh okay he, he hates Jacobs he hates Triple G subscribers know this is a boxing sh talking show no bias I don't I don't favor nobody. I got my favorite fighters, but everyone is right down the line. I'm going to say it how it is. Triple G is catching a lot of fucking bullshit for fighting fans, but no one is saying a damn thing on Danny Jacobs. Now let's get into this. Canelo fucked up. You know, the me personally, I've been on the line saying this whole time, I don't fucking want to see that rematch. I don't want to see it. You know, I was not interested in that rematch at all. It had no purpose. You know, it was just a money grab. Hey, you got your first check. You know, fight him, fight Canelo two fights from now. You know, who cares? Get, get another money grab. So sell your zero before you retire. Grab a fat check from Canelo. You know, you fought him once. Try and now go fight Billy Joe. You know, do, do other shit. Don't go back to Canelo. You know, and then he, and then he fucking taints it with tainted meat. So fuck Canelo. You know, it's obvious he was fucking doing something. You know, that's my opinion. My opinion. Dude comes in shredded at weigh-ins, and then just bulks up. You know, constantly be losing that type of weight, and then always gassing out in fights. To my common knowledge, common my opinion, Mr. A's thoughts, right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. Now I'm back to why is fucking Triple G getting hell? You know he's fighting he's fighting on um, Vannis. Now true, you know if we had the perfect world, you know why isn't he why isn't he fighting Charlo, Jacobs? Why isn't he fighting uh, Sergey, Dimitri? Well, one Dimitri didn't do shit to deserve this shot, so. Get him the fuck out. You know, he didn't do shit at 154. He had trouble with kool -Aid. He had fucking moved up. He had a boring-ass fight with Fox. He didn't do nothing. He's been all talk, bad management. So, to me, he don't deserve this uh, immediately full and cash out with Triple G. And then we have uh, Danny Jacobs. You lost your rematch. I mean, you lost your first fight. On paper, the rules, it's good. down in history books, you lost. So who do you fight afterwards? You fight Luis Aries. That that's what team, um, team Heron gets you. And then you pull in a second fight of Selecki. No, uh, Charlo. Arguably that maybe. Arguably he could do it. You know he was a champion at 154, moved up. But the thing is he was a champion I believe at the IBF. So. You, you you already have a number one contender in the IBF. And that's Sergey. So he's he moved up. He beat the number one, highly number one for a long time, in Sebastian Highland. And then, but let's be honest, Sebastian was fucked up. You know, Char Charlo did what he was supposed to do. Nothing against Charlo. He, you know, I'm a little disappointed that. He didn't beat his ass quicker. I like Charlo. And I thought he should have whooped the shit out of Highland. Because it was obvious Highland could not move. 
You know, we saw what we saw what Charlo did against J Rock. We saw what he did against he, um, Centennial. Why didn't he do that against a fucking cripple man? I think a part of me thinks Charlo knew something was wrong with Highland, so he was kind of like, "Dude, I'm gonna fuck this dude up, and something's wrong with him." So he kind of like, "Uh, no." I think a part of me, a little humanity, was in Charlo. That because that's that's what I think. A part of me thinks a little, as much as he's a lion. A little humanity came in Charlo because he could have fucked he could have fucked uh, Highland up if he wanted to. We see, we seen what he's about. So he beat Highland, who was injured. And then could he have fought? Could Triple G have taken him? Yes, he could have. But why? You don't see people take a dangerous motherfucker on a, like three weeks notice. The last time I recall that. Is when Lennox Lewis was about to fight Kirk Johnson, number four, and all of a sudden he, uh, Kirk Johnson pulled a, a, a chest muscle and fucking they, they threw number one at him, Vitaly Klitschko. Lennox Lewis came in all out of shape, you know, had a fight of his lifetime and still beat the shit out of. Um, he didn't beat the shit out of him, but he, fuck yeah, he did. He beat the shit out of uh, Vitaly. You know, the tough and back forth war, but he, he you know, he, he get up to him. And I say, why didn't Triple G do that? Hey. Lennox Lewis is a fucking G. Triple G, he's little G, you know. Now, Charlo could have done it, but I understand. You know, it's he beat Highland. He was an IBF champ. You're not, you're not coming in as the WBC uh, and just getting this shot. And then Sergey, why didn't he fight Sergey? Same thing. Now that one, I can't argue against. I would have loved to see Sergey. I even made a Mr. Ace thoughts on that one. Who deserved a shot? And I think Sergey deserved a shot. Number one mandatory, IBF. It's a legitimate one. You know, that one he should have took, but he didn't. So and then we move on. He fought Vanes Marzian, Marzian, and it was like, oh, why the fuck is he fighting him? Blah blah blah. But no one is saying shit on Danny Jacobs, who lost the. Fight the Triple G, Fort Louise Aries, and then he's fighting Shalucky. Now, hold on, people. We're going to give Triple G bullshit for fighting Vanis. Oh, he hasn't fought in so and so years. Uh, do you recall who the fuck Vans was supposed to fight? He was in a, a last title eliminator to fight Jermel. Charlo, do you recall who Vans was supposed to fight? Shalecki. Vans and Shalecki were supposed to fight. Winner fights Jamel Charlo. Jacobs takes Vans opponent. So Vans like, fuck, I'll fight Triple G. But no one, people giving Triple G shit. But no one is giving Danny Jacobs shit for taking Vans opponent. Danny Jacobs put Vans Marnerosian in this position. The dude's like, okay, yeah, I've been shelved up. I've been, I was coming back for a title eliminator to fight a rematch. If I win, I get a rematch against Jamel Charlo. And fucking Danny Jacobs takes my fucking title eliminator away from me. No one is saying shit on that. The dude was supposed to get, he was in a title eliminator, the final title eliminator. Winner gets Jamel Charlo. And Danny Jacobs takes his opponent and leaves Vans back on the shelf. Everyone's fine with that. But no one's giving, you know, fuck Triple G for fighting mine. Fuck Triple G for giving Vans an opportunity. Like Danny Jacobs gave Shalucky an opportunity. You know? Oh, Mr. A, Shalucky's a natural 160. He went down for a reason. <laughs> you know, he went down a weight class for a reason. Obviously, 160 wasn't suitable for him. You know, he went down to where he felt comfortable. He went up. He left the title eliminator for a bigger name, a bigger paycheck against Danny Jacobs, more for his career. I get it. But he went down for a reason. And now it's bullshit for Vans to go up. Well, obviously it's not everyone. I think everyone agrees that Vans gets the paycheck. You know, it's better for your career. You do it. But why is Triple G getting bullshitted on? For taking Vans when Daniel Jacob is taking Vans' opponent. Mr. A's thoughts. New viewers, hope you become new subscribers. 
subscribers. Thank you for your time and support. Thank you for your loyalty. Everyone give us this thumbs up. Protect your shit from the bullshit. Protect your eyes. <laughs>